Two women who were raped inside a Garland apartment and sued over apartment security issues are upset over an appeals court ruling. A jury first awarded them a million dollar judgment, but an appeals court overturned it. The women claim the apartment management company failed to secure a ground floor window that the rapist used to get inside their apartment. Fox 4's Alex Poye is in downtown Dallas tonight. That's where the case went to trial. Alex. That's right. You know, and these women have endured a lot over the past four years. First, there was a sexual assault file, uh, followed, I should say, by the criminal and civil trials, and then now this stunning decision. Fox 4 does not typically identify rape survivors, but in this case, one of the women says she wanted to be seen and heard. These photographs of Tracy Childers, taken in June of 2014, a vivid reminder of the violence she and her then girlfriend endured inside her Garland apartment. He did end up um, raping both of us. Childers, now 55, agreed to be identified in this story. The man who attacked them, Jared Allen Wade, was ultimately convicted on multiple counts of sexual assault. I popped a really tall man figure uh, from a crouching position on the side of the bed. According to a civil lawsuit later filed by the women, Wade entered Childers's first floor apartment at Stonely Place through an unsecure window. It's a safety issue. Childers says she reported to property management months before the attack. Childers says soon after, she received a notice it had been fixed. She didn't think so. I looked at the window and it had uh, thumb screws locks on the side. The latch wasn't fixed. It still didn't do what it was supposed to do. A jury sided with the women, awarding them $1 million in damages. The apartment company appealed the ruling, saying there was no evidence to show that the apartment complex could have foreseen the criminal acts. The appeals court sided with the apartment company, saying in part, the complete absence of evidence to show foreseeability in a negligence case is the type of exceptional circumstance requiring the verdict be overturned. Childress's attorney delivered the devastating news. I was so dumbfounded. I, I was hearing him and I was trying to take it all in and... I was like, why, how? The more I read that, the more I, I felt like Alice in Wonderland. Because of course, of course, you can foresee somebody coming into a window or coming into a door if the lock is not working the way it's supposed to work. That is absolute common sense. Attorney Lynn McCraw says Texas Property Code requires exterior windows to have working locks the same way it requires doors to have locks, which is why he says he was blindsided by the higher court's ruling. McCraw plans to fight it. Childers isn't giving up. It was a major punch in the gut. It's, it's, like, it's like I'm having to fight for my life again. And McCraw says he plans to file a motion for a rehearing. If that is denied, then he says he will ask the Texas Supreme Court to review the appellate court's decision. Uh, Childers, uh, meanwhile, who has a metal plate in her face as well as double vision, says she had planned to use some of that money from the judgment to pay for her medical bills.